Hi, I'm Patrick Siebert, and this is Brian Fiore. Together, we're going to hell, but before that, we just got played. We're here in Orlando, Florida at Cloak and Blaster, and we just got done playing a mildly offensive game called Baby Jesus. Brian, tell us about Baby Jesus. Um, okay. Um, Baby Jesus is a two to four player card game. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play. Um, in which each um, player assumes the role of baby Jesus and in order to achieve victory you have to um, get 42 followers um, to join your side. So um, the game kind of has mechanics that have been likened to um, uh, Magic the Gathering and Hearthstone, and Hearthstone um, in which um, you have a, a resource mechanic in which you generate one resource and, and in this case they use communion wafers. Um, so you get one on turn one, two on turn two, three on three and so on. Um, and you can use these resources in order to play cards from your hand. Um, and the types of cards that you can play are character cards known as either agnostic characters um, or disciple characters. And I'll go into more in those in just a second. And um, the other types of cards are relics, miracles, blessings, and curses. Um, so the, um, the, core, uh, the core type of cards that you use are um, disciple cards, which can be used to attack agnostic cards and can also, in what we call, or what the game calls a preach-off. And... Uh, the other type of action that they can take is to go on a prayer mission, assuming that there are no agnostics um, blocking their way, um, in which case then they would generate followers equal to their attack value. Um, so the damage mechanic is kind of just like uh, Magic the Gathering in the sense that they each have a power toughness and they each deal their damage um, to, to, each of the, um, to each of the characters. However, it's unlike Magic in that it, um, the damage is tracked from turn to turn so it doesn't reset. And so you got to like track and remember and then um, you can kill off the cards that way. So, um, Patrick, what would you say is uh, the thing that you like best about Baby Jesus? Okay, uh, I guess I guess I like the, the the aspect that he really took the time to exercise his free speech, that he really made sure that he made use of uh, of that part of our society here in the United States. And if there's one thing that you really liked. Um, I would say in, in this day and age um, of political correctness, a lot of times everyone's always careful with what they say and all this stuff, and it kind of makes everything eh, even keel uh, across the board. So once in a while, when something comes along and has some shock value, it can get attention. So this got attention. And um, there's no exploding cats in it. No exploding cats. Yeah. Um, and this might be a better game. I don't know. Yeah, because well, we they, wouldn't didn't, know, cause, they wouldn't send us a copy of that. Yeah. So if there's one thing that you didn't like about it, and, and you can only say one thing that you didn't like about it. Um, the one thing I didn't like about uh, the game Baby Jesus is that the rules were a little bit um, ambiguous. Um, there's especially, um, uh, there were a couple of things, but one thing in particular was the, like kind of like there was no stack rule that was mentioned. So if, um, if, if, one, if one player played, like activated the ability of like their relic, um, was I able to respond to it by activating one of my own relics or ca or some of the cards in my hand where they actually like an instant type speed that could be played in response or not so there were some things that weren't very clear in the rules and that was definitely I think could be could be polished up a little bit um, what would you say is one thing that you didn't like I do have to say that because of that um, it, the rules need polishing there's not a ton of them in there but what needs to be it, it needs more tuning the instructions definitely need more in tuning. So, I mean, just the one statement in the rule to say, you know, you can do do any of your actions during any any part of your turn. We ran into problems with that. It just doesn't it doesn't flow very well because of it. Uh, that and you know it does it does you know it's a little offensive. It can really some people that might be sensitive to it will be definitely turned off by this game. Most people will be turned off by that aspect of this game. So again, um, Baby Jesus uh, was available on Kickstarter, and I think you can still get a copy of it on uh, the website www.babyjesusthecardgame.com. Um, and I'm Patrick, and this is Brian. Together, we're just got played. Thank you very, very much for watching. I, you know, it's it's not a bad game. Um, it's not. It's not a bad game, but it really I felt like we're gonna go to hell for playing it. Probably so. I am uh, definitely packing light. I feel, I feel dirtier. But, you know, it's also kind of liberating that someone can go out there and do this kind of thing. And now that I, my fate is assured, I can go do whatever the hell I want. That's true. I guess.
or visit dashboard for details.